Okay, ji, so this is going to be a uh, seventh week lesson. Uh, first, inshallah, I have prepared the slides for the next two lessons altogether, so that's why it shows that. Now we are moving towards the topic that was um, just slightly started in the previous lecture, that was respiration. Before that, we have already done uh, studying with the photosynthesis, and we haven't uh, have a clear idea about the enzymes, how they do, do their work, what is oxidation and reduction reactions, and especially in case of respiration, we always use a statement or we always use an equation that is a chemical equation that the oxygen is going to be reacting with the stuff that you eat. So glucose is the basic thing which we break down and energy release, right? So oxygen is actually going to be reacting with the glucose and finally that is converted into carbon dioxide and water but as the theme indicates that the to breathe or not to breathe that is something that we have to explore whether we are talking about the uh, respiratory, uh, respiratory process in which there is need of oxygen or, uh, or when it is going on without oxygen So this is going to be the objectives of today's learning that um, to learn about energy production in cell through oxidation of glucose molecules with the help of enzymes. To learn about the difference between respiration with or without oxygen. First of all, when I'm talking about the energy production in cell through oxidation of glucose, that is the reaction of oxygen with anything is called as oxidation reaction. And similarly, when I'm talking about the enzymes, that means these are all energy-related processes in which enzymes are being consumed, uh, sorry, being used. And as a result, these processes are, are called as catalyzed processes. Similarly, second thing is about uh, when we are going to about discuss about the difference between the respiration with or without oxygen. That's what we have already discussed a bit um, in the class, in the previous class, if you remember that. Now, moving specifically to the process of respiration, it is the breakdown of food or glucose to release energy. Uh, that is the main reason behind respiration that it occurs inside the cell, inside the mitochondria, which is also called as powerhouse of cell, which is loaded with certain enzymes, which uh, cause the breakdown of food material that we eat and to release energy. Where does it take place? That has already been told. It's all about getting up to occur inside the mitochondria. Similarly, that is a catalyst, biological catalyst, enzymes, which are special proteins that control the process of respiration. And we have already known about them that they are intracellular, they are extracellular. So wherever they are present, they are actually going to catalyze a chemical reaction. This is all about that we have uh, learned in the previous lecture. Specifically, cellular respiration, I'm talking about, uh, we take example of glucose. In first step, for um, just taking to you to the background, you have eaten food. That has been digested. That has, been uh, that has become the part of your blood. And that glucose, when gets inside your blood, that blood transports this glucose towards your cells, right? Cells ke under enter hone ke baad, they are going to be broken down. And the process of breakdown of glucose is called as glycolysis. If you remember, I have already explained it uh, in the previous sections. Glyco is the word that comes for glucose or gluco, glyco, sare ke sare words jo hai, it's something related to the simple carbohydrates. And the next word, lysis, L-Y-S-I-S, L-Y-S-E, lies, ya phir litic. So lysis, lytic, lies, ye tamam cheese, that means uh, to break down. So glyco, lysis is a two word terminology in which we are actually talking about the breakdown of the simple sugars. And why I'm calling it as a simple sugars? Because don't forget that was the complex carbohydrate That's, that has now been uh, converted into a simple carbohydrate through the process of digestion. Achha, 
नाउ यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन कि जो स्टेप वन है ग्लाइकोलिसिस का इसके लेफ्ट हैंड साइड पे भी एक एटीपी शो किया गया है राइट हैंड साइड पे भी एटीपी शो किया गया है दैट मींस कि एटीपी एक्टिवेशन एनर्जी टू स्टार्ट द ब्रेक डाउन ऑफ ग्लूकोज डोंट फॉरगेट व्हेन एवर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एनी प्रोसेस इनसाइड द बॉडी डेफिनेटली अ स्टार्टिंग एनर्जी इज रिक्वायर्ड एंड डोंट फॉरगेट जब हम एंजाइम्स पढ़ रहे थे तो हमने बाकायदा एक स्टेटमेंट यूज की थी कि वाई वट इज एग्जैक्टली द रोल ऑफ एन एनजाइम that reduces the activation energy if you remember that so kisi bhi process ko activate karne ke liye energy chahiye hoti hai and yahan par enzymes first place place par isliye use hota hai taki jitni energy requirement hai usko reduce kiya ja sake aur thodi energy ko consume karte hue we can carry on with our own process and similarly the main product that is required actually after the breakdown of glucose is going to be atp once again सो प्रोसेस को इनिशिएट करने के लिए भी एटीपी चाहिए इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एक्टिवेशन एनर्जी और प्रोसेस जब एंड होता है तो हमें एटीपी मिलते हैं इन द फॉर्म ऑफ करेंसी ऑफ एनर्जी थर्ड शोज द स्टेप टू दैट मींस वंस द ग्लूकोज हैज बीन ब्रोकन डाउन नाउ इन सेकंड स्टेप द वर्ड इज द नेसेसिटी दैट इट कैन बी ब्रोकन डाउन इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ ऑक्सीजन एंड विदाउट प्रेजेंस ऑफ ऑक्सीजन again that's a, almost a recap for the things that we have already learned that there are two processes of respiration uh, or two types of respiration exactly the first one is called as anaerobic which means an means without aero words mean uh, means uh, air or oxygen anaerobic the process in which air or oxygen is not required and second third second one is aerobic that means the process in which air or oxygen is required so anaerobic respiration when there is no oxygen present this process is also called as fermentation and uh, the aerobic respiration where oxygen is present is called also called as oxidative respiration coming specifically to the first part that we are more con um, concerned about is the oxidative respiration which is the process that occurs inside our bodies and which is actually causing you to make more atp more amount of energy as compared to anaerobic respiration so hamari body ke andar at a time dono processes saath saath chal sakte hain as i've all we have already discussed in the class ki jab aap exercise kar rahe hote ho when there is limited supply of oxygen when you are out of your breath to aap thak jate ho aapke muscles aapki joints jam hona shuru ho jate hain what is the reason behind that thing because our key body can there jab oxygen ki deficiency hui so your normal respiration is going to shift into anaerobic respiration so product mein energy ban to rahi hai carbon dioxide bhi ban rahi hai but along with energy and carbon dioxide the things which are being produced are different now oxidative respiration ki specifically baat ki jaye it is also called as aerobic respiration in which oxygen is present so in aerobic respiration when oxygen enters into the process the uh, glucose is actually broken down or converted finally into carbon dioxide 36 atps and water so the things or the products which have been enclosed in the orange or red uh, lines that is the main product while oxygen is actually one of the reactants which is going to react with glucose to produce carbon dioxide water and 36 molecules of atp so that means one molecule of glucose is when broken down it is going to produce 36 atps while on the other hand if i'm talking about the fermentation or simply anaerobic respiration this is anaerobic respiration in which no oxygen is present first of all second fermentation aerobic uh, as also so also called as fermentation reaction in which there are again two types fermentation or anaerobic respiration again is of two types the first one is alcohol fermentation and second one is lactic acid fermentation as the name indicates alcohol fermentation it's a type of fermentation anaerobic respiration in which alcohol is formed at the end while in case of lactic acid fermentation lactic acid is being produced now um lactic acid ki agar baat ki jaye to aapko maine abhi thodi der pehle jo example di hai ki jab hum exercise kar rahe hote hain when we are out of our breath hum thak rahe hote hain hamare muscles mein pain shuru ho jata hai that is due to accumulation of lactic acid lactic acid joint mein jab accumulate karne lagta hai 
तो वहां पर आपके मसल्स फ्रीली मूव नहीं कर सकते आपके जॉइंट्स फ्रीली मूव नहीं कर सकते आपको बाकायदा फील होगा कि कोई आपके जॉइंट्स जो हैं वो दरमियान में ऐसी चीज है जो उनको फ्रीली मूव करने से रोक रही है सो दैट इज समथिंग व्हिच इज ड्यू टू लैक्टिक एसिड फॉर्मेशन ऑन द अदर हैंड अल्कोहल फर्मेंटेशन की बात की जाए तो इट मोस्टली अकर्स इनसाइड द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल यीस्ट और यीस्ट जो है वो मोस्टली बेकिंग पर्पसेस के लिए यूज की जाती है एंड इन व्हिच द इथाइल अल्कोहल इथाइल अल्कोहल प्लस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज प्रोड्यूस्ड अलोंग विद अगर दोनों हम बात करते हैं एनरोबिक रेस्पिरेशन में दोनों के दोनों टाइप्स के प्रोडक्ट्स के अंदर तो फर्मेंटेशन में टोटल एटीपी की अमाउंट जो है वो टू एटीपी बन रहे हैं एंड इफ यू रिमेंबर इन द एरोबिक रेस्पिरेशन इट वॉज थर्टी सिक्स ए टी पी सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द एनर्जी लेवल प्रोडक्ट की अगर बात करें तो द टाइप ऑफ रेस्पिरेशन विच इज गिविंग यू मोर नंबर ऑफ ए टी पी सिग्निफिकेंट नंबर ऑफ ए टी पी दैट इज गोइंग टू बी एरोबिक रेस्पिरेशन वाइल इन केस ऑफ एरोबिक रेस्पिरेशन येस वी डू गेट ए टी पी वी डू गेट कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड बट द नंबर ऑफ ए टी पी दैट इज बींग प्रोड्यूस इज फॉर लेस देन एज कम्पेयर टू दी एरोबिक रेस्पिरेशन 